Hello and welcome! So today we're going to be doing a quick video on how to mod Starfield using the Vortex Mod Manager. So for this, the first thing you want to do is go to the Nexus Mods website and you're going to search for Vortex. Now that we're on here, you're going to go ahead and click Manual Download. It'll ask you to make sure you have these things installed. If you don't have them, just go ahead and click on this and it will walk you through the process of downloading them. But I already do have them, so I can just hit download. At this point, it might also tell you that you need to have an account. If you don't have an account, go ahead and make an account. And then you can hit slow download. So now once that downloads, you can go ahead and go and open up your downloads folder or wherever it downloaded and open that exe. It will ask you if you want to allow this app to make changes to your device, and you can go ahead and click yes on that. And then it will walk you through the process of installing Vortex. Now I'm going to go ahead and click cancel because I already have Vortex installed. But you should be able to just follow through this little setup thing. Now that we have Vortex installed, if you open it up, you should see a section here called games. And it might automatically detect that you have Starfield, but if it doesn't, just go ahead and search for Starfield. And then it would show up here in Unmanaged. You would just hover over it and click Manage on it. And then another thing you're able to do, if it doesn't automatically detect where the game is downloaded, you can choose, click on these three little dots and choose Manually Set, lo set Location. So for me, it's Program Files. Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Starfield. So now that we have Vortex installed, there is one more thing we have to do, and that is to set up the Starfield Any. So to do that, you have to go to Documents, My Games, and then Starfield. An easy way to do that is to do percent app data percent. Then once you're here, you can go ahead and click back to this folder. It'll be whatever your username is on your PC, and then go to your documents folder, my games, and then starfield. So now that we're here, we should see a file that says starfieldprefs.ini, or if you don't have the little file extensions at the end enabled, then it will just say starfieldprefs. So now what we're going to do is we are going to copy this, paste it here, and then we're going to rename it to Starfield Custom. So now that we have the Starfield Custom Mini, we're going to go into it, delete everything that's in here, and then we're going to copy this into here, which I'll have this put into the description below, so it's easy for you to just copy and paste it. So now make sure you save this, and then you can exit out of it. And now, we are ready to mod Starfield. So now that we have all of that done, we can actually download a mod. So if you go to the Nexus Mods website, and then go to Starfield, there's tons of mods for you to download. So we're going to use Star UI as an example here. So we go onto the mod, go to Files, and then hit Mod Manager Download. Hit Slow Download and then open with Vortex. Once that finishes downloading, you can go ahead and hit install. Certain mods will have additional installation options for you to adjust how you would like. If it does, then you can go ahead and adjust these, and then continue on with the download. So now that you did that, you can hit enable. So now that we have that installed, we can go ahead and open up Starfield. And then if we go into our inventory here, we can see that star, that star UI is installed. We have a cool new menu here. However, there are some other mods that require you to have the Starfield script extender. If any of you are familiar with Skyrim modding, then you probably know of the Skyrim script extender, SKSE. This is Starfield's version of that. So to install this, what we're going to do is go to Files, hit Manual Download, 
Once you have that downloaded, you can go ahead and go to your downloads folder and extract that. So for this, we're going to have to move some of these files over to our game folder. So for that, we can go ahead and go on to Steam and then browse local files. That's an easy way to find your game folder. And then from here, you can go ahead and copy the DLL file and the EXE into your game folder. And go ahead and replace the files in this destination which you might not even get that option. I think I only got it because I already had um, the Starfield script and stender already installed. And then this SRE file here, you can go ahead and just ignore. This is just for developer use. So now if you go ahead and run that, and then if everything worked properly, you should, Starfield should launch and you now have the Starfield script and stender installed. If you want to launch it with Vortex still, and then if you want to launch it directly from Vortex, you should either have an option here already, and you can click these three dots and click edit, and then set the target to your sfseloader.exe, or you can go ahead and hit this plus button here, and then do the same thing of where you set the target by going into your files. And then you can set the name and all of that stuff. And also give it an icon if you want. So now that we have all of that done, you can install mods that require the Starfield script extender. So to showcase that it works, I'm going to use this mod as an example, Disable Dialog Camera. This one has a requirement for the Starfield script extender for one, and then also address library for SFSE plugins. So we're going to go ahead and install that real quick. Do the same thing of downloading it through Vortex. While that installs, we're going to go back to the dialog camera, files, then mod manager download. So now that both of these are downloaded, I'm going to hit install all, and then enable all as well. And then if I launch the Starfield script extender... Now if we talk to somebody... Back to the lodge, shall we? The dialogue view is now like this. And I think that is all. If there's anything I missed, or if you guys have any problems with this, you can go ahead and comment down below, and I'll either try and help you in the comments, or, or I'll make a separate video. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, and have a great day.